Why do we prefer simplicity to complexity? This preference runs throughout history. Aristoteles, William of Ockham, Newton, Pascal, they all praised parsimon and embraced it as a guiding principle of work scientific. Biologically and spiritually, we are inclined to prefer things needed to things not needed. Moreover, we prefer things needed to admixtures of things needed and things not needed. This is because things needed are needed. They encourage survival and enhance its chances. Survival is also assisted by the construction of theories. We all engage in theory building on a, on a daily basis, as a mundane routine. A tiger beheld means danger. And this, of course, is a, is a theory about the world. Theories which incorporate fewer assumptions are quicker to process and therefore enhance the chances of survival. In the aforementioned feline example, the virtue of the theory and its efficacy lie in its simplicity. One observation, the tiger, one prediction, your demise. Had the theory been less parsimonious, it would have entailed a longer time to process, and this would have rendered the prediction wholly unnecessary, or moot. The tiger would have prevailed. Thus, humans are parsimony machines. Call them Occam razor machines. <coughs> they select the shortest, and therefore the most efficient, path to the production of true theorems, given a set of facts, observations, and a set of theories. Another way to describe the activity of Occam machines they produce the maximum number of true theorems in any given period of time, given a set of facts and a set of theories. Poincaré, the French mathematician and philosopher, thought that nature itself, this metaphysical entity which encompasses us all, is parsimonious. He believed that mathematical simplicity must be a sign of truth. A simple nature would indeed appear this way, mathematically simple, despite the filters of theory and language. The sufficient reason why the world exists rather than not exist should then be transformed and written because it is the simplest of all possible worlds. A world that exists is the simplest of all possible worlds. That is to say, the world exists and this world exists rather than another because it is the most parsimonious and not the best, as Leibniz put it, of all possible worlds.